Hello. Welcome along to episode 159 of uh, Adventures in Pop. And uh, my name is Simon Jacobs, just in case you didn't know. And um, in this episode, I am mostly going to be talking about my brand new single, which is out this Friday, which I, I'm guessing is the 19th of April. And the single is called A Little Light. Um, and, uh, well, it is the 10th single to be released from this album, Strange Alien. And I want to just do a little check in about kind of where we're up to, what happens next. Um, and, you know, progress in general. And then, of course, I have got a video and an exclusive of the track itself, the track in question, to play for you um, in a few minutes' time. So hang in there. It's so worth it. And I hope you're going to really like the song itself. OK, a couple of things, first of all. It is the 10th track from this album called Strange Alien. Um, and I have released these 10 singles since... Let me see, the first one was Strange Alien. And that came out in uh, July last year. So in the space of nine months from July to uh, April, as it is now, um, just under nine months, um, I've managed to release... 10 singles. I did actually come on here at some point and say I want to kind of speed up the the release schedule of my singles otherwise I'm just getting so far behind. So one of the things that's interesting as I release each track I, I'm quite curious to go back and find out when I actually wrote it um, and sort of see how much delay there is between writing something, deciding that I quite like it uh, as is the case if I'm going to release it um, and then, you know, how long does it take then to actually go from writing it, deciding it's OK, to it being released as a single or, you know, possibly as an album track? We'll just talk about that in a few minutes. Um, and the answer in this case is, is about a year. I wrote um, A Little Light about a year ago. Um, and actually, to me, that's acceptable. I don't mind that. If it started to be 18 months or two years, as I've probably mentioned before, I think... You know, you're in danger then of slightly losing the plot of what it was you wrote all, all that time ago. And it starts to feel like you're releasing some old historic thing that no longer kind of relates to you in in quite the way it would do when you've just written it, of course. So I think it's not great to have a long lag. But um, on the other hand, you know, there's, there is a cue and we've got to be orderly, haven't we? So look, this is this is what what's been going on recently. This is, as I say, the tenth single. Now, you might have noticed that in a rather kind of um, obsessive manner, and I don't really know what the reason for this is, except it feels about right. Each album that I've released has always had uh, twelve tracks on it, and this will be no exception. So this is going to be the sixth out, my sixth album. <laughs> Um, which I I, I, should, I guess is a uh, you know a good thing. Um, interesting that um, we've got this far. So this is going to be my sixth album. All the albums have twelve tracks. That means that what I think is a sensible kind of release strategy that works with Spotify and being able to pitch stuff to their editorial team is to release roughly ten tracks from your twelve track album. And then leave a couple of tracks for people to discover when you actually release the album. Now, I say this now, a couple of albums back, um, which was probably me and my big mouth, I think I released everything. And 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 then thought, you know, I've sort of slightly, um, you know, overdone it there a little bit. I think um, with the last album, Five, I did keep a couple of tracks back Um just to, you know, just to pretend to build some excitement. But I, th I do think that's kind of the suggested right model of doing this. And then and then there's always the question of how long do you leave between each single release? And I think four weeks is, is absolutely enough. And, and sometimes if I can... If I can whittle that down to three weeks, because there's quite a lot to do when you release something, because you've got to think about a campaign, you've got to think about a video, you've got to make sure you've got time to just get everything, you know, right. Um, I, I think four weeks is is good, and if if I could, maybe 
three weeks. But the thing is, if you do if you do them too frequently, you don't give people time to actually get to know a song, and then there's another one landing. And I think maybe that can be a bit confusing, or it ends up devaluing each single because you don't give people really a chance to get to know it and, and obviously to get to love it. Um, OK, so look, uh, as I say, Strange Alien, the song was released last July and since then we've had, oh, we've had loads. Shall, shall I quickly run through them? Um, we've had um, Tongue Tied and Changes and I Breathe With You and You Must Be Laughing and Fall In Love With Me and and a number of others, all of which are marvellous. And, and actually, this is an important point. I am uh, genuinely, I have to say this, because, because you know, we don't have secrets. Um, I am pleased with this album. I, I feel good about this, this sixth album. And as you may know, and I've, I've hinted broadly in this direction, and I will, I will fill you in as we go. But for the very first time, the release of this album... Strange Alien, which is going to happen sometime end of May, beginning of June, something like that. Uh, I'm going to be assisted in the release of this album by a PR company based in this country who um, are basically working with me to help push the whole album when it comes out. Now, look, that has not happened before. This is this is brand new territory. It's quite exciting. I can't, you know, OK, it's great that it's happening, but... It, there's there's you know there's potential for it to fall flat on its face for me to spend some money for lots of people to run around doing very good promotional work and for nobody to be the slightest bit interested i obviously i'll be crushed i'll be broken but I, um i think it's still an achievement to have got to the point where there is a pr company who is prepared to you know for a price do the work with you to help push your album in a whole bunch of different ways. And those ways will be possibly um, interviews in magazines. That'd be interesting. Never done that before. Um, a TikTok uh, influence, influencers promotion. I'll explain more about that another time. And then some other, you know, more obvious things about... Um, some YouTube advertising, etc., etc. So, there are a number of different ways that we're going to um, try and get people to, to to notice, basically. Because as we have said before, I think not very many episodes ago, you know, we talked about ten million um, Spotify artists, of which half, you know, don't really do anything, or have released one or two tracks. They haven't actually made it yet to one hundred streams. Um, and if you go by the number of monthly listeners I've got, um, I'm thrilled as I was then to announce that I might be in, out of all that 10 million, in the top 200,000. I mean, it sounds ludicrous, doesn't it? There's no point getting that excited about being in the top 200,000. But look, you know, it's something. We're on the way, slowly. Um... So um, that's that's the excitement that I have to look, to look forward to, which is basically to promote Strange Alien in a way that I have not promoted any of the other the other albums because I haven't had that opportunity to. So my my kind of message to myself and to you would be as well is when an opportunity comes along, you blooming well take it because they don't you know they don't knock on your door every day. Okay, that's very important. All right, let me t tell you a little bit about this song, huh? Uh, written a year ago, this is a song that I think I probably did have one or two people in mind when I wrote it. Um, and it's a song about, it's imploring a very miserable person to stop being so miserable. That is essentially what A Little Light is about. It's not a, it's not a song about um, a small bedside lamp. A little light. No, it's about, it's a rather larger metaphorical use of the word light. And I'm talking about letting light into your day, into your life. Um, and that essentially is what the song is. Now, interestingly, when I look at it now, I'm not entirely sure that this is a song that has, you know, a chorus in the classic sense. But it does have a recurring kind of 
uh, riff, which I guess is it's the hook. I mean, it's as near to a chorus as as you might get. Um, and I would very much like, if you don't mind, just to um, give you some of the words of of that hook section. And this is the bit that repeats a few times and it goes, you've been like a big black cloud on a bad, bad day in a raging storm. I think it's time you should give us a break. You're like a bear with a sore head. Did you get out on the wrong side of your bed? See what a difference it could make. So that's the kind of tenor of this song. Let a little light come in at your window. And Talking of little light coming in at your window, I took that line maybe a little too literally in making the video. So the video is essentially me sitting by a window. See what I mean? That suggests possibly a rather terrible lack of imagination. So I'm sitting by a window and some of the some of the shots that you'll see in the video is is my iPhone, which is the, the camera that records everything just being pointed out through the windows so that we can see the world outside and it was it was light it was actually getting dark so it does look a bit moody um and to help that moodiness i decided also to put the whole video into black and white just to add to its moody nature so look um I don't think there's much else to tell you about this track or about the video. I think what I need to do now is probably just shut up and show it to you. So look, I'd love you to enjoy it. It'll be out on Friday, as I say, but you have a chance to watch the video right now, hear the song. And boy, I, well, I hope you love it. And as I say, there will be two more tracks that you won't have heard um, on the album Strange Alien when it comes out in a, a month or so's time. Um, but I won't be releasing another single until I get on to whatever comes after this Strange Alien album, until I get on to album seven. So uh, my next single will be, you know, a little change of direction as I move into a, a new project. OK, I'm not going to say any more about that, but I'm just going to keep you, keep you guessing. Um, it's always lovely talking to you. Here is the brand new single, the 10th single from... A strange alien it's called a little light is out on friday it's very nice and it goes a bit like this bye bye <laughs> Shine through your doorway. I guess it's time for the day to start. Oh. You've been like a big black cloud on a bad, bad day in a raging storm. I think it's time you should give us a break. You're like a bear with a sword. Oh